I love this shoe. Hello, welcome to Film My Run. My name is Stephen Cousins. This is my review of the Hoka One One, Hoka One One. Torrent. First up, full disclosure, I am not sponsored by Hoka. They did send me this pair of Torrents for review, but they are not paying me any money. I don't have to give a favourable review. However, it's going to be a favourable review. I love these, honestly. Okay, so the Torrent is a trail shoe. You can tell that by the massive lugs underneath. It's not a road shoe, it's a trail shoe, but it is a racing trail shoe. Let's start with how how the shoe looks. Um, I've got the green one which really doesn't work very well on a green screen but I've made it work somehow. I hope you can see the shoe well enough. It is yellowy green the colour I've got. Um, the upper is a light mesh upper. It's not waterproof at all. The tongue is big, fat and juicy. Uh, you know I mentioned in my Evo Mafate review that the tongue is uh, thin and actually cuts into your foot a little bit. Not so with the Hokuto nice and cosy. The midsole is called a Pro Fly midsole, whatever that means, it's just Hoka's buzzword for their midsole, and they throw words like protection and propulsion around, meaning I guess that it's cushioned and there's a little bit of springiness there as well. The torrent weighs in at 254 grams and there's a drop of 5 mils between the heel and the toe. The thing I immediately noticed about the torrents was that they're not flashy. A lot of the other Hoka shoes you'll notice have a lot of bright colours, uh, there's a lot of flashy design going on on the shoe. These are really quite basic. The mesh goes all the way around, there's this kind of light rubber around the outside as well but it's all the same all the way around and it makes for quite a basic looking shoe but there's nothing wrong with that. I really like the look of the shoe. So let's look at the things I really like about the Huckett Torrent. It is so light. This is a racing shoe. It is not like your Evo Mafates or your Speed Goat 2s. This is not a heavy shoe. This is a light, fast shoe. But with it being light and fast, you would expect that might mean that it's flimsy, but it absolutely is not flimsy. I have done 185 miles in this shoe. I've done two marathons, plenty of half marathons in the dark over rough terrain, perhaps not over really, really, Really tough terrain like you might find on the volcanoes of Transvolcania or something like that, but certainly pretty tough rocky terrain. 185 miles, there is not a mark on this shoe. Honestly, there's no rips, there's no fraying. My Evo Mafate started to fray right at the front here. Um, the Hocker Speed Goats have all, they all frayed down the sides here. And you can see none of that stitching is fraying or has come loose at all. These are absolutely solid. The lugs there is really minimal wear, if any wear at all, on the lugs at the bottom. Really, really good. Honestly, I am so impressed with the durability of this shoe. It is light and it is durable. So if it's light and it's durable, something has to give and it's got to be comfort, hasn't it, surely? Well, not really. If I'm going to say anything negative about the Hoka Torrents, it is that it is a harder ride. So it won't be as comfortable as Evo Mafates or Speed Goat 2s. It will not be as cushioned. It is not as cushioned as those shoes. So it's a harder ride. Do a full marathon, do a fast 50k in these shoes, absolutely no problem at all. They will stand up to the wear and tear, they will give you good grip and they will be comfortable over over marathon distance and just a bit beyond. Just don't expect them to be comfortable over 100 miles. They're not built for that, they're not supposed to be used for that. These are fast racing trail shoes. As yet I haven't had a chance to compare the Torrents to the Challenger ATR 5s or the new Speedgoat 3s, but I would say if you're going to buy these they're about 140 euros, so maybe 120 pounds. I'm sure you can work it out, you don't need me. Go to a website. But they're they're a comparable price, let's say, to your Mafates and Speedgoats, perhaps a little bit cheaper. 
I've used these trail shoes on mud, uh, wet leaves, forest tracks, over rocks, um, quite jagged rocks in some places. I've also used them on tarmac because one of the marathons I did was a trail marathon which went partly on road, partly off road. Um, on a beach, I've run on a beach with them and I have to say I haven't had a problem in terms of grip on any of those. I did find myself slip sliding down a muddy hilly bank on uh, one marathon uh, but I wouldn't hold that against the torrents. I think any shoe would probably have slipped down the, uh, the muddy terrain that I was running on that day. So overall, absolutely massively impressed with these shoes. If you are doing trail marathons, if you're doing a lot of trail marathons, if you are not going much further than that, so you're not doing 50 milers, 100 milers, this is a shoe you should try out. Really, the only argument you can have with the Hoka Torrent is that it's not quite as comfortable. It's a little bit of a harder ride than you will get on most other Hoka shoes, which will be a little more cushioned than this one. But that said, it's an awesome shoe. It really is. That is it. That is my review of the Hoka Torrents. Please go and check them out for yourself. Take care and we'll see you for another review very soon. Bye bye. <laughs>